DME works on a principle of interrogate and response, so it sends a message to the DME station and then receives a reply, and then calculates the distance from the station based on the time taken to receive the reply. Given the way this is calculated, this will always be an exact distance between the aircraft and the DME station. This is called slant range. So as we get closer to the DME station, notice how the GPS distance reduces at a faster rate than the DME readout. This is because the triangle that we were talking about is becoming more squashed, and therefore the hypotenuse is much longer than the ground distance vector. This error becomes more and more apparent the closer you are to the station, and the error is at its maximum when we are directly over the top of the DME station. At this point, the DME is reading the height above the station in nautical miles. Now in this case, the station is at sea level, and we're at 3,000 feet altitude. You'll see as we come over the top of the DME station that the GPS readout is almost reading zero, whereas the DME is still telling us that we're half a mile from the station. That's because there are approximately 6,000 feet in a nautical mile, and therefore we are about half a mile above the station. Here's an example of crossing the DME station at 6,000 feet. Notice the greater difference between the DME readout and the GPS readout than the difference was reading at 3,000 feet. You'll also notice that as we cross the DME station, the GPS readout will reach almost zero, whereas the DME readout will not read less than one nautical mile. And that's because, as stated before, there's 6,000 feet in a nautical mile, and we're therefore